Hey everyone, it's Billy here from Daily Puzzles. In today's video, we have a review of the XMars Cube, the world's first robotic smart cube. If you haven't already seen my unboxing video, the link is in the video description. I would recommend checking that out first because that's sort of an introduction for this video. I'm going to start off this video by saying I think you should buy this puzzle if you're interested. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is not because it's perfect, because there definitely are some flaws of this puzzle. This is the first version, of course. Uh, but the reason I'm saying that is because it's super unique. There's really no other cube on the market that can do anything remotely like this cube does. The closest things you'd have to it would be the Geica cube, the GAN356 Smart cube, um, or the Go cube. The designs on those other cubes though are sort of more focused on speed cubing. Uh, this cube is a little bit more unique as you can see. Um, it does not look like a traditional cube at all. Um, at first glance you might even think this is a Rubik's cube. But in my opinion that's totally fine. This puzzle does what it does uh, very well. Um, I don't think it's sort of trying to directly compete with a speed cube. Um, I know some of their advertising material does say you can solve it like a speed cube. And while that is true, um, it does feel very different and your skill uh, training on this re really isn't gonna translate over into a regular cube. But again, that doesn't mean I don't recommend it. In fact, I fully recommend it. Just know what you're getting into first, so make sure you watch this full video so I can go over the entire cube. So let's start off with some of my favorite things about this puzzle. Hands down, my favorite thing about this puzzle is the auto solving feature. If you haven't seen it before, here you go. It's absolutely incredible. Um, it's really unique. No other puzzle does this on the market. I believe there was a designer who uh, manufactured his own self-solving Rubik's Cube um, a while ago, um, but that is obviously ma not mass produced. And this one is, which makes it so unique because it's so awesome to watch. Really fun party trip. It's cool to show your friends and family. And I definitely think that is one of the coolest things that this puzzle has to offer. You may be thinking, what else can the motors do other than self-solve the Rubik's Cube? Because if it was just that on its own, maybe you could consider it a little bit gimmicky, but they actually do use this for many of the tutorial functions with this cube. What I mean is you can put it in a mode uh, for tutorial, which is basically going to help you learn algorithms and it's going to light up and sort of show you where to turn the cube so you can learn the algorithms. And on top of that, if you make a wrong turn, it's going to let you know. And it's basically also a way to help you train. Is this the best way to help you train and learn algorithms? Arguably yes, arguably no. Depends who you ask. Um, I prefer just sort of a piece of paper with some algorithms on it, but I know for some people they will really like this feature. Now that we've gone over my favorite thing about this puzzle, let's go into the biggest selling point of this puzzle, which differentiates it from the Go Cube, uh, the GAN Smart Cube, and the Geica Cube. It is the fact that this can be used without a smartphone application. The way it works without a smartphone connected is if you go into the settings menu and this essentially lets you choose the mode without having a phone connected. So you turn it on and then you use this purple side to select a number for the yellow face. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then back to 0 again. So i have got it in uh, 0 and then if you turn this it also gives you another option here and then you use the purple side again to select what number. So I'm going to put it in 0, 0 now um, and to complete that you turn the green side and basically this puts you in mode zero zero which you could do with the smartphone um, but it's not necessary you can access um, I believe all of the functions um, or almost all of them just through this way another thing I really like about the cube is the auto snapping function so the way that works is if you turn a face um, just a little bit eventually as you can see it snaps and completes the turn for you now, if you don't like this function, you can turn it off and you can also adjust the sensitivity on it, but I think that makes it a lot more enjoyable to use. Another function that is really cool is the two by two solving mode. So as you can see, it essentially disables the lights um, in the middle and the edges. And now it's just a two by two, um, which really gives you more value for money um, because it's gone from a three by three puzzle and now to a two by two, which is really cool. And this is definitely one of my favorite functions. And there's loads and loads of other cool functions too, but here's a couple bonus ones. The first being, since it is made up of LEDs, you can solve it in the dark, which is really cool. Um, it's really easy to see. Uh, and yeah, that is really cool. And on top of that, another awesome function is the fact that it has a jingle bell solving mode. Um, sort of a gimmick, but it is really cool. Just watch it for yourself. Okay, now that we've gone over some of my favorite things and pros about the cube, let's go over a couple of cons. 
Now, truthfully, uh, some of these cons, I am being a little bit picky, uh, but this cube is 99 US dollars. So I feel like when you're spending this sort of money, um, you deserve obviously the best. Um, so I'm going to go over the cons. The first and one of the bigger cons, in my opinion, is sort of these side faces feel a little bit loose. I'm not sure how well you can see that on camera. But as you can see, um, they do feel a little bit loose. It's never felt like it's going to snap or break off of me or anything. Um, but if you're spending this sort of money, it would feel a little bit nicer if these were a little bit more rigid and just felt a bit more solid. Um, do I think they're going to break off in future uh, or come even looser? No, I don't think so. But um, it would be nice for a version 2 to have these a little bit tighter. That's not just a personal preference though, as I notice sometimes when I'm turning the cube, uh, my back fingers will sort of accidentally turn these layers, which is a little bit annoying. And on top of that, it does make the M slices um, feel a little bit weird when you turn them. It's easy, as you can see, to misalign the bottom layers. Um, so that is definitely one of my bigger criticisms of this cube. Another thing I'm not a huge fan of on this cube is the fact that this color is purple instead of orange. Now, I know the reasoning behind this. Um, they didn't want it to seem too similar to the yellow because um, as you can see, perhaps even on camera, that does look, uh, look a little bit like orange. So I think the way they could get around this was maybe using uh, by using some brighter LEDs. I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up, but the focus sort of on these LEDs is a little bit soft. Um, I would like them to be a little bit more vibrant. Um, this is on the full brightness setting uh, on the Cube 2, um, which also reduces the battery life. But I would like these LEDs to be a little bit brighter. And then on top of that, give the users um, options in the settings to change these colors to what uh, you prefer. Because um, I'd sort of go with a lighter yellow. And on top of that, I would change this to orange. Again, this isn't a huge deal, um, but I'm trying to be picky. Um, so yeah, this is something I would like to see in a future version. Now, when it comes to battery life, um, the website does say, I believe, it can last up to 30 days. Um, but that obviously depends what you're doing with the cube. Um, in my experience, it sort of lasts for maybe two to five hours on average. Um, it depends what functions you're doing. And definitely, if you lower the brightness, that's going to increase the battery life a lot. But it would nice uh, be nice to see either this be more efficient, so it uses less power, um, or a bigger battery in a later version. So those are the main cons I have against this cube. Um, I wouldn't say any of those are deal breakers, just some things to keep in mind before purchasing. I also think it's worthwhile suggesting that in the next 12 months, XMars have said that they are planning to introduce an online battle feature similar to what the other smart cubes have. And I think this is a really great decision for them, um, but obviously the cube doesn't have this feature right now. So definitely don't buy it in hopes of um, getting that in future because we don't know what it's gonna be like and it's obviously not done yet, but uh, that is something to keep in mind. Another thing to mention is XMars seems uh, really adamant about listening to the community on their feedback if you have any features. Um, they've said to me many times, if you have any features, let me know and we can apply them to the cube, which is really great to see. Um, not many companies listen to the community these days and their feedback, so that's awesome to see. If you have any suggestions for XMars, leave them in the comments below this video and I'm sure they'll check them out. And if your idea is good, I'm sure they will actually apply it to the cube. So in conclusion, guys, this is a really interesting cube. Um, I'd say don't buy this with the expectation of becoming a better speed cuber. This is more of a fun item if you're a speed cuber, I'd say. So um, that's not a bad thing, um, but I do notice XMars does sort of advertise this as being good for speed cubers. And while it is in a way, um, yeah, I wouldn't go into it um, expecting this to really help you get better because it does look different to a cube. Um, it is a little bit different to grip and it does take quite a bit of getting used to. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But if you're just looking for a fun toy that you can sort of mess around with, solve in the dark, do the self scramble mode, that sort of thing, I would wholeheartedly recommend this cube. And it's currently available to purchase right now in the link in the video description on Amazon. And on top of that, we may be stocking this in future also. So that's going to be it for my video guys on the XMars Smart Cube. Let me know what you thought in the comments below of the video and the cube itself. Um, and if you want to see a video in future, let me know. We're probably going to be doing a video when the online battle feature comes out um, in future. So stay tuned for that. And without further ado, that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.